The Browning High Power 9mm handgun is an icon that has evolved into a concept as much as a patented design, much like the 1911. So, there are lots of modern high power clones that have taken the idea to the next level. Today, let's take a look at some modernized takes on the John Moses Browning legendary handgun. We bet you haven't heard about a hybrid high power gun. Stay tuned till the end to find out. Springfield Armory SA-35 MRSP $699 The Springfield Armory SA-35 is a modern tribute act to the classic high-power semi-automatic pistol. Of course, that old-school magazine disconnect is gone. You get modern sights, a better feed ramp, a cold hammer forged barrel, increased capacity, and a few other modern treats, like manufacturing engineering tolerances you can't actually see and feel. But basically, this is the high power you know and love. A blued finish, flared ejection port in the steel slide, checkered walnut grips, and the classic bobbed competition hammer complete the look. This is proving a hugely popular pistol and a potential bestseller. The Springfield Armory SA-35 may look like your grandfather's pistol, but it's definitely not. Springfield took a lot of time and care with this design, and even if you have a pile of genuine Belgian BHPs, get this one to take out and shoot. EAA Kursan MCP-35 MSRP $545 If you're looking for a faithful recreation of the original Browning High Power 9mm pistol, well, this is the new pistol you need. Turkish manufacturer Gersan has a full range of tactical pistol and target shooting specialists based on the original high power. Evolutions, if you will. But this Gersan MCP-35 is a straightforward tribute. It is an interesting combination of the various evolutions of the 9mm Browning High Power, though. Largely, it's based on the 1980s update for the Browning High Power Mark III, but it keeps the ring hammer from the earlier versions. You get the same staggered magazine, a thumb safety, magazine safety disconnect, blued steel finish, and more from the classic design of the original High Power. Now, this isn't 100% John Browning's work, and there are some important tweaks. There is just enough beaver tail to avoid constant hammer bite, without intrinsically changing the design. There is about half an inch of travel on the trigger inside that enlarged trigger guard, and a solid, reasonably fast reset. Now, the sights are old school, with a long white dot on the front sight and two corresponding white dots on the rear sight. They're basic, is what we're saying. But then that's kind of the point here, with this nostalgic trip down memory lane with the Gerson MCP-35. It's an homage to one of the most revered pistols of all time. FN High Power MSRP $1,250 After decades of declining sales, FN finally killed the high power pistol in 2018. But the sudden demand for clones and a general public show of disgust forced the company into a private rethink. In 2022, it came back with the rebranded FN High Power pistol design. Again, the new High Power is a major redesign of that 80-year-old semi-automatic handgun. It comes with a number of new features, and a few less. Really, it's a new pistol. The new FN High Power 9mm handgun gets an unashamedly heavy dust cover to balance the muzzle flip and recoil. At 40 ounces unloaded, this is a seriously heavy pistol as well. It's full-size 1911 size but you get a lot more ammunition and a lot of the same features with the FN High Power. Performance features on the FN High Power include the super crisp single action trigger, 1911 style checkering on the frame, and interchangeable back straps to get the perfect grip. The old bobbed hammer from the semi-automatic High Power is there, and yet you get an extended beaver tail to kill the hammer bite that really was a thing with the old gun. The contrasting magazine release button is easier to work as well. A modern double stack magazine capacity is there too. And of course, you can get an extended magazine to put this FN high power right up there with the likes of Glock tactical pistols and the new breed of 1911s in terms of a high capacity magazine. There's no magazine disconnect mechanism either, and the gun will fire with no mag and a round in the chamber. It's a fully ambidextrous slide lock release and safety, the new FN High Power is light enough to use as a concealed carry 9mm handgun design, and you can order a blued version if you don't like the flat dark earth frame and slide. 
TSOS Regent BR9, MSRP $529. The Regent BR9 is a faithful copy of the last model of the P35, with improvements. It offers a choice of either a blue or stainless steel. It is all steel, so the Regent weighs in at 29.5 ounces. It is a single-action pistol featuring the Browning Tilt Barrel Locking System, where the barrel has a cam machined into its lower lug. On the top of the slide, in place of the usual tiny sights the P-35 usually wore, the BR-9 has actually usable sights. There are transverse dovetails, front and the rear, and they have Novex-style offerings in each. In what I consider is a wise move, there are no serrations, checkering, grooves, or stippling anywhere to be seen on the plain Jane frame. And the best part? The price. The last few made by FN Surplus Imports had a wholesale price as high or higher than the retail price of the BR-9. With the BR-9, you're getting a new, tighter, harder steel pistol, already with great sights, for less than the cost of an import. And two magazines as well. EAA Gerson MCP-35 Ops MSRP $672 from the massive beaver tail to the Picatinny rail underneath and the optic-ready slide that's ready for red dot sights. This is the Browning High Power 2.0. The fiber optic front sight and fully adjustable rear sight are a clear step forward, and we like the competition spec flat trigger, but the ability to mount red dot sights on this pistol means it's immediately in another, more exclusive league. It is still based on a forged steel frame and slide with a short recoil, breech lock action, the famous magazine disconnect safety is there, as well as the ring hammer, and there's an extended slide stop and thumb safety that is a popular aftermarket accessory for the original Browning High Power 9mm. Those things aside, only a true expert would spot the Browning High Power here, as there's just so much extra stuff designed to make this new pistol work for home defense and all-around recreational shooting. CZ-75 MSRP $706 Released in 1975, the CZ-75 is largely considered to be a hybrid of the High Power and the 6-hour DASA design. Others think it's straight-up evolution of the FN High Power. You might argue that it doesn't quite belong here, but we think it does. So yeah. It is a short recoil-operated locking breech pistol. You also get the Browning linkless cam locking system that locks the barrel and slide together during the firing process using locking lugs milled into the barrel and recesses in the slide. That and the high-capacity magazine were more or less the defining characteristics of the original FN. Now, the CZ-75 comes with a slide rail design, where the slide runs inside the rails on the frame, which eliminates the slide-to-frame play that the high power was kind of known for. The double-action, single-action trigger setup is slightly different as well, but the similarities are more profound than the differences. In our humble opinion, it is the next generation and easily the best high-power clone on the market. This is the Browning High Power with the kitchen sink thrown at it in terms of tactical pistol extras. Call it a Gerson custom shop version of Browning's High Power if you're feeling generous.